Assalamu alaikum guys once again welcome back to civil engineers youtube channel today topic is very important especially for architecture designer and also for structural designer or for those students which are working on construction site also for non civil engineering people and the topic is what is the minimum width of chancha for house yes of course it's very important to know about this minimum width of chacha if you want to increase so what are the tips to increase the width of chacha so today i will clear your concept about this topic let's start guys as you can see the topic is what is the minimum width of chacha for house and this is the cross section of a simple house and you can see guys this is a ground level okay just and you can see guys this is support which is column okay and here guys you can see this is rcc slab and here guys this is chajja so what should be the minimum width of chajja so guys you can see this is from here to here what should be the minimum width of chacha this is the topic this is the main point here guys first of all i will tell you that the minimum width of chacha should not be less than okay minimum width of chacha should not be less than 18 inches or 1.5 feet the minimum width of chajja should not be less than 18 inches or 1.5 feet so it should be minimum 18 inches or 1.5 feet the minimum width of chajja because you can see guys in this cross section there are doors windows okay also ventilation system so during uh, rain okay so it can affect elevation also side cross section etc so therefore the chajja should not be less than 18 inches now guys here is a question that if you need to increase if you need to increase the width of chajja for example I need but the safe okay here is also the question safe width of chajja is safe width safe width of chajja is 2.5 feet okay so here you don't need to do a specific design for beam column or slab for chajja because you know guys in chajja we don't apply any load on the chajja so therefore we don't need a specific design especially uh, to the width of 2.5 feet chajja this is very important but if you need to increase the width of chajja from more than 2.5 feet so there we should do a specific design for chajja and we should increase the depth and also we will do a special design for the chajja otherwise it will fail it will crack and if you uh, if uh, the chajja are uh, if it, it become correct so you will face more problems because you can't do repairing of this uh, after completion of the work so therefore you will face problem so so before uh, facing problem you should fix this problem before starting building construction that what should be the minimum and safe width of chajja or if you want to increase so what are the tips okay so now guys the minimum uh, width of the chajja should not be less than 18 inches or 1.5 as i told you already that uh, rainy water can affect this okay during a rainy season okay so it can be affect right and also uh, you know uh, and uh, also uh, and snowfall also and uh, uh, sometime also more problems okay so it should not be effect the the building should not be affected uh, from the uh, reason of 
chajja okay so it should be minimum 18 inches so the safe width of chajja is 2.5 feet you don't need to do a special design for this but if you want to increase okay if you increase the width of chajja from three feet if you need more than three feet for example if you need four feet or five feet etc okay so guys here are uh, some tips so how you can increase this so guys you know here we have a beam here top beam okay so the top beam is also come same like this okay so on the top beam you can see on the top beam we have as you can see this is top beam so guys the top beam should be designed for this for the chajja how for example if here the depth of the beam is for example 12 inches 12 inches okay so here if you want to increase the chajja okay so if you want to increase the chajja about five feet for example you need to get the width of chajja five feet so what should you do okay because chajja is on the beam already okay because a chajja uh, design on the beam so here the width uh, the depth of this beam should be decreased same like this okay so as you can see guys here we have what we have a column okay and you can see this is a beam okay because we can show the beam cross section also on the beam guys we have here uh, chajja okay slab right this is slab means chajja here because this is a support so here it is cantilever so guys remember that it should become like this you can see so it will become like this you can see so here is a 12 inches okay so in the slope okay so it should be minimum here three inches at the end it should be three inches this depth should be three inches under the chajja because if you keep all this 12 inches so it become overload so it cannot support the chajja right so this is very important for you and also guys the steel should be bent up here so these steel bars will become same like this also this it will become like this steels then your chajja will be safe if you want to increase about 5 feet or 5.5 6 feet you can increase but in the case of increasing the width of chajja you should apply these points okay also if you don't want to uh, decrease the depth from the end okay you can see here at the support this is 12 inches beam same like this but when we are going to the chajja end so the, at, the, at the chajja end the depth should be decreased as you can see here is a three inches okay so we can keep about three inch four inch we can keep but we cannot get full depth of beam in the case of increasing width of chajja this is the main point also guys we provide to increase the width of chajja we should provide concealed or hidden beam okay we also provide hidden beam okay so the hidden beam we can use four numbers at the bottom four numbers at the bottom just you can use four numbers or more than four numbers you can also because it is depend on the structure design four numbers same like this okay and also we need to to use two numbers at the top and also it will become same like this okay so same like beam we will provide the stirrups with the spacing of nine inches or six inches then we can save the chajja if you have more width of chajja so this is the some important points which i have discussed the front of you about what is the minimum width of chajja and if you want to increase so what are the rules regulation of this the rules regulation that at the end of the support if the depth of uh, the depth of the beam is 12 inches or 9 inches so here when you are going to the end of the chajja same like this 
okay free point okay so there the depth should be minimum at the slope you will become same like this as you can see here so it will become same like this okay so if this is 12 12 inches for example are 9 inches so it should be about 3 or 4 inches so the chajja will be safe so otherwise when you keep same uh, same depth at the end and also at the support so you will face more problems it it, it cannot support the uh, chajja load and also a structure load etc so guys if you have any question related with this topic so you can comment i will try to reply your answer thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye